Hey, you guys. Good morning. Okay, so today, guys, we're going to... um. I'm going to kind of make this video not too, too long, but we're going to be talking about this is week two of our YouTube um, April series. And we're going to be talking about kindness. I'm looking at my notebooks, y'all. Kindness, giving, um, and generous, generosity. And the definition of kindness is the quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate. And it is also like um, some synonyms are kindliness, goodwill affection warmth gentleness tenderness concern care consideration helpfulness thoughtfulness selflessness compassion sympathy understanding benevolence generosity generosity um hospitality things like that and you know god had gave me um what we were going to be talking about for april like when i write this down 7 12 a.m 3 25 22 and you know i'm just like we know that god is kind we know that god is loving we know that we are kind we know um people that have been kind to us and that we're kind and god is kind and i was really thanking god on another level for his kindness like yes over the years i have you know thanked him for his kindness um in my life and in the lives of others but it really hit different this morning just with just thinking about different things that i have gone through and have been dealing with just over the years and over certain seasons and even recently and it really um just took my faith to another level and my worship to another level of god's kindness his generosity his love for us um think about his love for us um by sending us jesus by us having eternal and everlasting life um just the way that he's so graceful to us and so gracious to us and merciful um you know if many of you can attest how god didn't do you like men did you you know and we thank god for who he is amen and a word that came to me um this morning as i was getting ready before i took my son to school is you know for someone is it doesn't matter what they think about it it matters what god thinks about it and i was like okay lord and he said make sure you release that on this on this um video for today it doesn't matter what they what they think about it what does god think about it what did god say about it how does god feel about that situation that's where you want to go with because that's going to be where his peace is and some of you even you know need to I'm not going to say catch a flashback, but remember of God's kindness towards you. Remember how it probably could have went this way, but with God, it went a, a whole nother way. So God is generous. He is kind. And we thank God for his generosity and his love and his kindness. You know, and then what are some ways that you can thank God for kindness and generosity and compassion and different things from others in your life? And how have been some ways that you have been kind and generous to other people? You know, what are some ways that the Lord will use you to be kind and generous to other people? Some of you, like, maybe he's been, like, nudging certain things. What can you do this week that could be an act of kindness or generosity or giving or things like that? And that could be through prayers. That could be physically. That could be spiritually. That could be in your relationships. That could even be in a way that you speak to yourself or um, you treat yourself or just anything. So that's the definition of kindness. Let me give you guys the definition of giving and generous, and then we're going to get into a few scriptures, you guys. And it may be a little loud in the background, guys. That is the AC. So the definition of giving is, um, it says providing love or other emotional support and caring. And giving could be in different ways. Giving could be spiritually. Giving could be uh, financially. Giving could be physically. Giving could be in your time. Giving could be with your gifts and talents. Giving could be um, with your relationships. It could be or in any area, right? And I don't really see a lot of definitions for this. Um, but the definition of give, it says to make a present of. It also says to grant or bestow by formal action. So all of this is from Oxford Languages, Google that I usually tell you guys the definition, but this part is from Marion Wilson, Marion Webster. Sorry. So to make a present of, uh, to grant or bestow by formal action, to accord or yield to another. Um, some more definitions is to put into the possession of another for his or her use. Um, it also could be um, to commit to another 
as a trust or a responsibility and usually for an express reason. Um, it is also to transfer from one's authority or custody and it could be to convey to another, to offer to the action of another, to execute and deliver. And it, it's just also some other things that it can, um, that it's talking about. They have a lot of definition, but it's, that's, the, that's the definition of give. And then let me give you guys the definition of generous. Because like when God was giving me this, I was like, well, Lord, do you want me to just, just pick one? And he was like, no, use all of them because they'll all like tie together. I guess it would be different things for different ones of you, but it will all tie, even though it's different, but it like it all connects. Almost think like a triangle. So the definition is of generous is liberal in giving. It is also marked by abundance or ample proportions. And it is also um, characterized by a noble or kindly spirit. Okay, so now we're going to get into... Um, the scriptures and we're not going to read all of the scriptures i'm just going to give a few because we're doing like three and one i'm just going to give a few scriptures on some of them so some scriptures on kindness and also kindness deals with also like compassion so you see how like kindness giving generosity all that goes together and this is another word for someone like you've been sowing good seeds and righteous seeds and that's the part of like our prayer for this month when we prayed that on the other video God will honor that in due time and whether it is physically or financially or, or spiritually or what in any area. God will honor that because it's like, hold on, you guys. Sorry about that, y'all, because it's like you're doing it unto God and not man. So some scriptures on um, kindness. I'm going to read just a few. Um Acts 14, 17, and y'all can read these in full context, but it says, Yet he did not leave himself without witness, for he did good by giving you rains from heaven in fruitful seasons, satisfying your hearts with food and gladness. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 says, Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. Ephesians 4.32 says, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as in Christ God forgave you. Luke 6.35 says, But love your enemies and do good and lend, expecting nothing in return, and your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High, for he is kind to the ungrateful and the evil. But I do encourage you guys to read these things in like full context. So Colossians 3.12-13 says, Put on then as God's chosen ones holy and beloved compassionate hearts kindness humility meekness and patience bearing with one another and if one has a complaint against another forgiving each other as the lord has forgiven you so you also must forgive proverbs thirty one twenty six says she opens her mouth with wisdom and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue okay proverbs nineteen seventeen says and I live by this scripture as well. A lot of these we reading, but this one especially. Like personally, Proverbs 19, 17 says, Whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord, and he will repay him for his deed. Um, Galatians 6, 10 says, So then as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone. So that goodness and kindness ties as well. And especially to those who are of the household of faith. Okay. Let me go back. Um, I want to read a few more on that. Then I'm going to go to the next one. Proverbs eleven seventeen says, A man who is kind benefits himself, but a cruel man hurts himself. I'm looking, y'all. Bear with me a second. 1 Peter 3, 9 says, Do not repay evil for evil or reveling for reveling, but on the contrary, bless, for to this you were called that you may obtain a blessing. Romans eleven twenty two says, Note then the kindness and the severity of God, severity toward those who have fallen, but God's kindness to you, provided you continue in his kindness. And then it says, Otherwise you will be cut off, but you could read that in full context as well. Colossians three fourteen and above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Galatians 5, 22, 23, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Proverbs 21, 21, whoever pursues righteousness and kindness will find life, righteousness, and honor. 
in 2 Peter 1 7 says in godliness with brotherly affection and brotherly affection with love and then um Proverbs 14, 21, we're going to close out with this. It says, whoever despises his neighbor is a sinner, but blessed is he who is generous to the poor. But yeah, please read that in full context too. Let me read one more. Acts 28 is talking about, we did an Acts series, but it's talking about um, them when they were shipwrecked. Because verse 2 says, the native people showed us unusual kindness. For they kindled a fire and welcomed us all because it had begun to rain and was cold. But Isaiah 41 um 10 says for the mountains may depart and the hills be removed but my steadfast love shall not depart from you and my covenant of peace shall not be removed says the lord who has compassion on you like he's kind and we thank god for jesus john 3 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life everlasting life that to me is is a huge that's that's huge about kindness as well Okay, guys, um, let me go. Let me pull up this next one. Second, now we're going to talk about giving. And I'm not going to leave the scriptures below, so I'm just referencing them today. Um, in a lot of the videos, I try to leave them below or just reference them. Today, I'm not going to leave them below, but um, you guys can pause the video for you that like to take the notes and just write them. So that's why I'm telling y'all what they are. So 2 Corinthians 9, 7 says, Each one must give as he has decided in his heart not reluctantly or under compulsion for God loves a cheerful giver like God don't want you to feel pressured to do it right you have to be led by the spirit with that Acts 20 35 in all things I have shown you that by working hard in this way we must help the weak and remember the words of the Lord Jesus how he himself said it is more blessed to give than to receive Okay, 2 Corinthians 9, 6. The point is this. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Um, let me read a few more. 1 Timothy 6, 17 through 19. As for the rich in this present age, charge them not to be haughty, nor to set their hopes on the uncertainty of riches, but on God, who richly provides us with everything to enjoy. They are to do good. And someone on here can read Matthew 6, 25 through 33. We have read it multiple times, but I feel like that'll bless somebody this morning as well. So, um, but on God, who richly provides us with everything to enjoy. They are to do good, to be rich in good works, to be generous and ready to share, thus storing up treasure for themselves as a good foundation for the future, so that they may take hold of that which is truly life. Uh, Proverbs 3 27 says do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in your power to do it Hebrews 13 6 says do not neglect to do good and to share what you have for such sacrifices are pleasing to God Proverbs 28 27 says whoever gives to the poor will not want but he who hides his eyes will get many a curse uh, Proverbs 11 24 through 25 guys this alarm is about to go off I'm a um because we got to be on the prayer line. It's a couple minutes away. So I'm going to close this out after a few more verses. Proverbs 11, 24 through 25. One gives freely, yet grows all the richer. Another withholds what he should give and only suffers want. Whoever brings blessing will be enriched. And one, and one who waters will himself be watered. Okay. Um, let's close out with this. Okay, let's close out with two more with this. James 1, 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Uh, Luke 6, 30. Give to everyone who begs from you and from one who takes away your goods. Do not demand them back. But he was saying that in context. And then Deuteronomy 15, 10. You shall give to him freely, and your heart shall not be grudging when you give to him, because for this the Lord your God will bless you in all your work and in all that you undertake. And let me read these last two more. I just love, like, you know, the reading the Bible. 2 Corinthians 9, 10. He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed for sowing and increase the harvest of your righteousness. And then um, Proverbs 22, 9. Whoever has a bountiful eye will be blessed for he shares his bread with the poor. Okay, so that's pretty much going to um, conclude our Bible study for this week, you guys. Um, if you guys missed week one, we talked about civil. This is week two, what we talked about today. Next week, we're going to talk about harvest. 
and then um, week four we'll talk about faith and then week five will be a reflection of just these weeks so next week um, tune in to week three we'll talk about harvest you guys we're doing our Monday prayer line calls you guys at 9 a.m. Um, let me go over that with you guys as well today we're actually going to be talking about well in a few minutes but you guys will probably get it after we already did it or whatever but today our topic is amen and we're going to be coming from acts one in the lord's prayer and doing our biblical prayers and decrees um so this is week three for our april series with the line um last week we talked about i am destined like be destined and destiny oriented and our topic was also action right faith without works is dead so applying our faith plus our action and being destiny oriented um, having the destiny mindset and not being distracted and being focused and then the week before that we were talking about releasing breakthrough and of course we had some scriptures with that so um, that's what we're talking about this week so I think that's going to be it for the video everything else I'll probably just leave below but I pray that you guys um, have a great day God bless you guys have a great week and um, thanks for tuning in